Welcome back to Extraordinary Women. I'm Shannon Skinner, and I'm joined by Miriam Sinua, who is a, a real estate a representative who specializes in green real estate. She's going to be speaking about uh, the importance of inner and outer environment. Um, and later in the segment, before we take a break, I'll have my regular good to know minute when I ask my guests for their top tip on creating a successful life. You'll hear Miriam's. Miriam, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's really nice to have you here today. Now, you're real, you are uh, a real estate rep who specializes in green real estate. You're based in Toronto, although even more specifically, North York. In North York, yes. But uh, Toronto as a whole. Now, mind you, you're originally from Zimbabwe. Yes. I can hear a little bit of an accent. Yes, uh, you can. <laughs> yeah, so you, you were born and raised in Zimbabwe. Yes. And uh, when did you find your way to Canada? Uh, that would be about 20 years ago, Shannon. Um, we had a number of uh, options. We decided we wanted to immigrate. And uh, I can remember we traveled to the States for a family wedding and uh, the one day in between we thought we'd take a sightseeing tour to Niagara, and, uh, which we did. And uh, we hopped over to the Canadian side and, and drove around. And I just remember, you know, look at these beautiful little bungalows and they were so neat and their gardens were beautiful with the flowers and then I said yes this is where we want to live this is where I would like to raise my children um, we also have a lot of extended family here which is nice they uh, have been very loving and supportive uh, of us through uh, th through our time here which is great yeah. he had some challenges some significant challenges actually after not long after you arrived right right you know, immigration for anyone, it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from, even if you speak English and you come from a westernized country, uh, is, it's, it has its uh, challenges, Shannon. Um, we came at a time in the late 89s, 90s, where the economy sort of uh, took a bit of a dive. And, uh, you know, employment became an issue. Uh, so we were living with that. And uh, eventually, uh, you know, we had a fire in the house, and a little while after that, we had a death in the family. So uh, there was a, a lot to do. Um, eventually, once I got the house rebuilt and sold, uh, I moved my, uh, my family to a new home, and uh, we started a new life. Okay. Now, what gets you up in the morning and puts that sort of kick in your heels? I love challenges, Shannon. I love to meet people. I know that we, um, there's something to learn, something new to learn every day. And I'm open to that. Um, I want to learn, I want to grow, I want to evolve. Um, through all of this process, I've done a lot of that. And I'm, I'm, I'm open to more of it. And more importantly is, is to meet new people. I love meeting people. I love finding out you know, who they are and, um, you know, I think the greatest thing is, is sharing of hearts. That for me is, is, is the greatest gift every new day. Is sharing hearts. Yeah. yeah. Well, that sounds beautiful to me. Yeah. Now, I know that, um, of course, you're, you're a, a real estate um, sales rep. Yes. Um, you, you have done some work before in fashion, is that correct? Right. Yeah. Um, I was a fashion designer and loved it. It was my passion. Going to work was going to play, um, as it is now. And uh, but it got to a point, Shannon, where uh, I guess with everything that we went through in terms of our immigration and settling down uh, here in Canada, uh, I, I realized I wanted something different. I was ready to let go of the old life and to embrace something different. Um, my healing process became my, my training, and um, I went through a three-year program uh, in psychotherapy, and uh, I became a coach, a life coach, um, and love that too. It's something, it's a skill that I consider is an innate to, to my personality, being a good listener, um, being able to have a look at bigger picture and to, to, to you know, help people guide people. I was always the peacemaker in my family, so I guess that's something that's, that comes through. Um, and uh, moved on from there. And yeah. so you rolled all of that into uh, an interesting um, career that you have. Uh, and it's something about uh, your, your real estate uh, background that makes you different than other 
um, reps. Right. What is it? Well, I, I consider, first of all, the coaching background. Uh, I am a good listener, so I do listen to people um, and really want to understand what it is they need to get to the seed level of what, what it is they're actually looking for in terms of making the move, um, either selling and or buying their homes. Um, so there's that part. Uh, having a design background, I have a fascination for architecture and also combining that with, uh, uh, I've done a course in Vastu, which is the precursor to Feng Shui, um, in, and that's about the uh, science of construction and architecture. So I, I want to develop that more, I want to study more Feng Shui, um, but more importantly, green real estate is uh, about having an holistic idea of uh, what real estate is about, connecting it to the environment, uh, connecting it to the outer world and how we can make our living spaces um, much more sustainable uh, and cheaper for ourselves and the homeowner and as well obviously more beneficial for the environment. So, so when we talk about green real estate we're really talking about you know environmental issues that impact the, that impact the home. Right. Um, how did you, what inspired you to become interested now in, in the environmental issues of, of a home? Right. Did the fire have anything to do with that? Um, in yes, your own it, home? It, it did. Um, I, I can see as a, as, a, as a life coach, as a coach, the, the correlation between what is happening in our inner world and our emotions um, and how that reflects and actually the energy that is projected from that out into the home. Believe it or not, homes and the walls of the home absorb energy um, and I, I saw it in my own life you know where there was a lot of raw combustible energy that became inflamed it translated from our inner world into the outer environment where we actually had a fire in the home so there, there's a very deep connection between what is going on inside of yourself and, and the environment. So in terms of inner and outer environment, it's really important to find that place of inside of yourself um, because that will be mirrored in your home and the home environment. You know, we often talk about uh, less is more. We've heard that expression. And we're hearing a lot these days, you know, in terms of staging homes. Uh, declutter, 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 declutter. What does that mean? You know, we, we want to have an environment in our home that is, uh, you know, free of clutter, uh, that is open, that, you know, looks, is, it frees up the energy in the house. But that really essentially and innately comes from inside of us first and foremost. Um, because that will, that when we have that inside of us, that peace and harmony and balance, and centeredness and groundedness in terms of our life and uh, um, our goals and visions and what inspires us, that will be reflected in our homes as well. So if we have a lot of um, internal busyness going on, mm -hmm. our, our home might tend to look busy? Might reflect that. So would you say that if you walked into somebody's home uh, and you looked around, you would have a good sense of what's, what's going on with them personally? Would that yes. be fair to say? Uh, yes, I think it is fair to say. Um, you know, and I, I think it's, it's fair to say that you know, if, if people are walking into homes that they're looking to purchase um, and or people that are looking to sell their homes, uh, it would be a good idea to um, you know, really clean up um, your, your home and, and have a, a really good clean environment, which is the whole staging. Uh, side of things, but when you're looking into a home and coming to um, assess whether this is a home that you'd like to, to purchase, open your heart, just be open and, and get a sense of the energy of the home and, and that will tell you a lot about you know, how you could fit into that and, and how it would be good for you in terms of your lifestyle. Have you ever walked into someone's home that uh, either you were, um, you were potentially selling or buying for uh, a client um, and the home was just just beyond anything you you could have imagined yes very definitely yeah um, I have w walked into some horrific homes 
and you know walked out and, and just. Can you give me an of example <laughs> of of, uh, of a situation where maybe you walked in and then you just knew that because of the environment that you saw in the house and you sort of uh, either the people were you know either you know <laughs> you're ready to uh, make a complete different change in their life or something was going on. You know it it's. You, you typically, yeah, you, you can get, get a sense of, of what's going on in people's lives and, uh, and, and in their home. I, I can um, very often will not, say, go into the basement or, you know, make the, the tour very short-lived. Um, and and it's, there's no judgment here, but you, you, it's important to understand that um, you want to clean up your home just as much as you want to clean up the inside of yourself. Um, there, there is a correlation and uh, when you do clean up your home you are cleaning up your life as well you get much more clarity on 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 your life and uh, you'll get a much greater sense of, of being and purpose too well that's this is very fascinating now this is uh, time for our break and which just means it's actually also time for a good to know minute and Miriam I know that you've got a great tip for my audience. Shannon, the, the basic truth is live from your heart uh, and track yourself. Track yourself every day. Track your feelings, your thoughts, your actions, experiences that you have. When you come to learn more about who you are, you realize that true success and fulfillment is what radiates from inside out. Well, thank you so much. Well, when we come back more with Miriam Asenua, we'll be talking more about green real estate and the importance of the of the inner environment and how it reflected is reflected in your outer environment. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Extraordinary Women. I'm Shannon Skinner. And of course, during the break, uh, we ran a video uh, by Marsh Engel about Amazing Women's Day, uh, which uh, again is taking place in Toronto, April 16th at the Ritz Carlton Hotel. Uh, more information at amazingwomensday.com. Uh, of course, uh, Extraordinary Women is a, a proud media partner of Amazing Women's Day Toronto. So I'm going to be there and I would encourage you to come out as well. So uh, it'll be a great inspiring day filled with uh, celebration and transformation so come on out Miriam this is really interesting stuff green real estate now what really is green real estate <laughs> as I like to term it uh, Shannon uh, sustainable living is really about um, making a difference uh, in our home environments uh, the, the the understanding is that there, is, there are sustainable energies that we can utilize um, in order to save ourselves money and as well save the environment, um, which is highly important. We're seeing, you know, a lot of uh, uh, sort of events in, in the, uh, on the planet right at this moment that is really begging us to, to focus on, on the environment and how we can do our bit, no matter how big, how small, to at least contribute to uh, sustainable living. So can you give me um, some examples then of, of what, what people can do to contribute to sustainable living? I mean, I think, uh, you know, I mean, we're looking at Japan. I mean, those, they're, they're going to have extreme issues in the next little while. But if we t talk more specifically, of course, about homeowners uh, who are looking for a new home, perhaps, right. um, what, can, what can they do? Right. Well, you know, um, first of all, look at the, uh, the house envelope. Uh, the house envelope is um, the, that sort of field of energy that's keeping the home tight. So when you walk into a home, typically you would notice if there are any drafts. Um, a tight home will, be, uh, will feel comfortable to you when you walk in. It is not drafty. Uh, windows, new energy efficient windows. We're seeing new windows being in, installed a lot uh, in homes now um, and they really do make a difference. Uh, appliances, uh, energy efficient appliances that are rated by the uh, Energy Star or Energuide. Um, you know, there's also making sure that the attic is fully insulated. Um, and that the basement as well is, is fully insulated. Uh, check the roof, check your furnace, check the hot water tank. 
Uh, the other thing that we can do um, in our small way, of course, obviously, it's always turn off the lights, but with appliances, unplug them if you're not using them. Because uh, they still draw energy, they don't they? they still Anything that's still plugged in. Right. Uh, yeah, exactly. They still draw en energy, and it's known as phantom energy. Um, phantom energy. Phantom energy. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, you know, and in the summer, typically not to use the uh, air conditioning or to use it as sparingly as possible. Rather, replace a light fitting with a fan and use a fan uh, and... Um, maybe uh, draw the blinds in the summer so that you're keeping the house cool. Uh, you know, there are also suggestions uh, to plant a tree uh, close, not too close to the house, but, you know, um, in the south, uh, so that it provides shade and, and cooling air, uh, you know, which is helpful to the house as well. You know, we had a, a real wake-up call when we, in Toronto, when we had that uh, garbage strike a yes. few years ago. Right. Um, I, it really opened my eyes as to how much garbage is uh, output from my home, right. uh, which was a lot more than I imagined it to be. I mm -hmm. thought I was greener than I actually am, but the truth of the matter is I, I, was, I was really um, collecting, a little, collecting a lot more garbage than I thought. Right. Uh, you know, and this is one, one of the aspects in which I really wish to create that conscious awareness and in terms of sustainable living. Um, our society is, is material driven, consumer based, and so we, we really don't give too much thought to the excess that we purchase. What do we do with that? You know, um, as you say, we, we see it when, when the garbage piles up, but it's really more about um, being practical in terms of recycling your materials uh, and, and reusing them. Uh, so that you're, you're really not using those resources ultimately in the environment. Now, what do you do when you, um, when you have a client and you're, you're, they, they want to buy a house? Right. Maybe it's their first house. What do you do when you sit down with them? Um, what would be some of the steps that you, you take them through so they know uh, that it's the right property, and particularly the green property? for them. Right. Well, again, it's, it's about looking at um, the outer shell. You know, when you walk into the house, notice how comfortable you feel in the home. And as we were mentioning earlier, get an inner sense of it, uh, you know, from a different perspective. But in terms of the, the green uh, and sustainable uh, lifestyle perspective, it's really about um, making sure that, you know, there are good windows, uh, making sure that the roof is, is good, um, finding out you know, how old the furnace is um, and the appliances. And to take these things into consideration because if they do need to be replaced, what is the cost of replacing them? Now I know there are rebate uh, programs which is very helpful to uh, consumers in terms of you know, replacing windows uh, and, and uh, utilities. So that's, that's you know, something to uh, bear in mind. But uh, these, these are typically things that you would look for um, in a home. And what about spouses or partners? I mean, you, you, I'm sure not all of them are aligned in exactly what, right. what they want. You, right. you must see some interesting situations where partners have maybe a different idea from the other of what they're looking for. Right. Yes, they do. And, and then there we switch into the, uh, the coaching side of things, um, you know, it's, uh, when I'm, I'm listening to people and, and what they are looking for. And what I would suggest is that when you are looking to purchase uh, a home, be very clear about what you want. Take a piece of paper, write it down, write down, uh, you know, the location, the size of house. Um, you know, anything else that is really important to you um, and it, it, that's very helpful because it, it will tend to eliminate um, uh, a lot of wasted time uh, in terms of running around looking for something. Um, when you're focused on what you want, you will find it. You will find it. Do you know, I remember um um, in, in, in when I was looking for uh, the, the house that I'm currently in, uh, 
I saw, I was taken into a house, uh, and I'll never forget this, I was taken into a, into a house to see, um, and it had a toilet uh, put into the corner of the living room uh, with a curtain around it. And uh, that, that was really interesting, <laughs> and I walked in and I thought, well, I guess everybody has a different idea of, of living, don't right. they? Yes, they do. Everyone does. And, um, you know, so you can walk into, the ho into a house, any house, and um, the whole point is to see beyond what you see um, and use your imagination to uh, uh, envision how you can make this your own, um, and if you can at all. Uh, and to see the potential in homes because you know when we come in we bring our own energy uh, into an environment we we um, we decorate it we we bring our energy we transform it from just a, a shell which is a house actually I did write an, an article on that uh, from house to home to sanctuary um, we we transform that house into something that becomes a home and ultimately again there again we, we connect the inner and outer environment it becomes our sanctuary it becomes a safe haven it becomes a place where we can uh, relax and and uh, really rejuvenate ourselves because we're so bombarded by the outer world you know As some people would say these days that having a house uh, in this market isn't really isn't really worth it <laughs> what do you think <laughs> I think it is I think it is I think it's exciting to move into a new home um, and I think you know there again follow your heart if if you know you feel that um, you, you want to change environment and uh, you're either changing up or you're changing down or uh, you know newlyweds follow your heart you know it's it's that's really important because if you're passionate about something that you really want you know, there's, you will in, get immense enjoyment out of that. And, and, and that's the bottom line, is really just follow what you are guided to do. Well, Miriam, it's been such a pleasure speaking with you, and I'm afraid our time is just about up. Um, how can people reach you then? What's the best way to contact if anyone's interested in, uh, in what you have to offer in your services? Right. Well, I do have a website, Shannon. It's uh, miriamsanya.com. Um, also, northyorkrealestatehelp.com. Um, and I have a blog, uh, which is northyorkrealestate.wordpress.com. And uh, that link is actually on my website, so you'll find that on my website. You can read about uh, the articles I've written on uh, sick building syndrome, saving water, the uh, urban uh, island heat effect. Uh, so it's really about creating awareness, and uh, people can get hold of me from off my website. Yeah. Well, thanks again, and best of luck, and it's been very insightful. Thank you so much, Shannon.